Now with our half inch blade selector, we're going to go ahead and install this on the bandsaw. But first, a couple of words about blades and handling blades. You've got a lot of sharp teeth on the blade. If you're uncomfortable in handling the blades at all, put some gloves on. Uh, if you're pretty sure handed and you know how to handle the blades, you might be able to do it without it. So let's go ahead and let's open this up. And the bandsaw blades are typically shipped just like you see right here. Where they, uh, they have three loose coils and when you're uncoiling a uh, blade, just use a little bit of caution because it can kind of spring out on you a little bit here. And you'll see as this open, it wants to spring out and that's where the gloves come in handy. Now we get a lot of questions once the blades are like this is how do you go through and recoil a blade and let's do that real quick here for you live time. You take the bandsaw blade and with your hands just a little bit more than shoulder width apart, your palms up and your thumbs out, grasp the blade and let the far side of the blade dangle down and start to bend down. And as it bends down, take your two hands, bring them together and just put one over the other and they start to cross and that'll form your upper loop right here. Your second loop is forming and your bottom loop will be the third one. And there you go and that's coiling the bandsaw blade. Let's do that one more time real quick here. Again, your palms shoulder width apart, hands up, thumbs out, grasp the blade, let the back end of it drop down bring those two teeth together toward each other, loop them over and bring them up. It's, uh, it's simple once you get the hang of it you'll probably want to practice it a few times and the first couple times probably put the gloves on so you don't nick your hands up. Let's go ahead and get this blade uncoiled and get it installed in the bandsaw. The first thing we want to do is open up the cabinet doors on the bandsaw and get this ready and mind you we've got the plug out right here. Now I'll typically take this and just hang it over the saw for a few moments while I get the uh, the bandsaw prepared. In order to prepare the bandsaw, one of the things that we want to do is get the uh, guides brought down. I find that it's easiest to work with these right in the middle. I'll lock those in place right here. The other thing that we want to do is to remove the throat plate. Now we reach underneath the bandsaw. There's a spring clip on the bottom that you'll twist and it's spring loaded and pop the throat plate out of its place. There's a lower guard that comes off with a thumb screw. Simply loosen the thumb screw and you'll pop the lower guard off. The upper guard will come off with an allen wrench. We'll grab the allen wrench, loosen the upper cover and this will slide out out of the way. Now with these guards removed it gives us full access to the guides. One of the things that we want to do is to make the uh, bandsaw blade installation smooth and easy is to take the guides and back those off. So simply open up the side guides by loosening them. We simply loosen these at the bottom, slide this back, loosen right at the bottom of the center shaft and that thrust bearing will slide back. So that takes care of the top ones. Now be careful these are loose. Let's do the bottoms as well. Now on the bottoms we're going to simply loosen the, slide, the side blocks right here. Those will loosen up and then we'll loosen up the thrust shaft here as well. This entire assembly will slide right back and with that back and out of the way our blade will go right down the middle then we'll bring those forward. Next you release the tension by putting the lever all the way up. Remove the lock handle. This basically locks the two halves of the table together when the saw is in use. Now we're ready to install the blade on the saw. Simply take the blade, come through the slot on the side and then you're going to turn the corner and on the uh, beam side of the saw over here on the frame side just simply insert it through the slot, hang it over the top wheel and what you want to do is to make sure that it's roughly centered on the tire. We'll start to line it in the guides, put it through the frame of the saw all the way down and loop it over the bottom wheel. And again, try to keep everything fairly centered. You're going to roughly center it just like that and get it in the, gli the guides. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the tension back on the saw by lowering the handle down and locking it in place. Now, we've got just a little bit of tension on there and you'll see that it starts to come up on the tension gauge. During the first installation here, you want to make sure that this tension gauge raises up here. If it seems like it's still hanging down, the tab might be under the washer behind here with the spring. It's simply a matter of removing this screw, 
putting it on the bottom side of the washer so that as you put the tension on there, it'll move the lever. Now the typical rule of thumb is you want about oh, a quarter inch deflection right here on the widest part of the saw. And right now that's a little bit too much. So we're going to actually add a little bit of tension to the saw. And again, we've got about a half inch blade on, on the saw right now. All right, I've got about a quarter inch deflection. Now typically what I would do is take a Sharpie and mark it up here on the gauge where I like to run it and put half inch blade on there. That'll give you an indication where your basic settings are. If this is a blade that you're using all the time, you can leave this tension setting and simply use the quick release handle to come back to the same tension on the saw. Now with our blade installed and our tension set, we need to set the tracking. And just making sure that everything is clear and out of the way of the blade, let's go ahead and give it a few spins. Now use some caution here. Don't put your fingers all the way through. Otherwise as you spin this, you might get your finger in and caught up in the frame here. And we're doing this with the bandsaw unplugged. We'll give this a few spins and as we spin this, you'll notice that the bandsaw blade itself wants to kind of come in the center here, hopefully. If it tracks a little bit too much toward the back or too much to the front, we're going to adjust that with the tracking knob on the back of the saw. But we'll just give it a few quick spins here to see where it's at. It's pretty close to the center. I'm going to move it forward and back a little bit by using this tracking knob. And let's have a look at the blade here when I do that. Now I've just adjusted the bandsaw so that this blade is a little bit more toward the front of the wheel to demonstrate tracking for you. Normally you want to have this blade right, right in the center of the tire, the middle of the blade right in the middle of the tire. And you'll see that the teeth are a little more toward the front on a half inch blade. In order to adjust it backwards, what we'll do is we'll spin the wheel and on the back side we're going to unloosen the lock knob and then take the tracking knob and as we spin the wheel, you'll notice that I, I will turn the knob on the back clockwise to move the blade backwards. And you'll notice very gradually that blade starts to walk its way back. And now it's pretty well centered in the bandsaw tire. And once I have it where I like it, on the back side I'm going to lock the lock knob so that the tracking knob doesn't turn at all and we're ready to go to the next step.